Okay, that's 12.30, let's get started here. So, stuff that's going on, it's not too much, but don't see a whole lot of people getting going on this uh, writing assignment yet, so I'll think about that. Hold on just a sec here. Okay, so uh, vocab lesson 13 is due tonight. If you have not already done that, then uh, make sure and get that done, get off to a fresh start the semester. Good, you're in class, you're getting participation going. And since I don't think I got, I don't think I recorded myself yesterday, uh, to everyone who's watching a little bit later, hopefully, uh, participation is starting at a 75 this time instead of an 80, okay? So a little bit more of a nudge to come to class, maybe speak up once in a while and to build that participation grade up by the end of the quarter. Shouldn't be any problem if you come to class. All right, so today we wanna to continue working on the argumentative research outline. Um, if you haven't already, try to finish watching the video. Did you guys watch the last five minutes of that video that we didn't get to in class yesterday? I'm looking for head nods. No, why not? Matthew says he did. Okay, you should have done that. I'm not gonna bring it back up. It's there for you to watch on the assignment. It takes you through the process of the point I want to get to, certainly by tomorrow, of everyone having their thesis statement composed. And there's six quotes plugged into appropriate places where each body paragraph is going to kind of be about a different supporting point that's mentioned in that thesis. Okay, so let me go to the samples that I was using before. Okay, so I pretended that this was mine, like I'm a student, right? Let's zoom in a little bit. And I figured out how to write my thesis by deciding that a couple of these seem to have to do with the purpose of masks. A couple of them seem to have to do with how to wear a mask properly. And some of them, the green ones, had to do with uh, limitations of, of mask wearing. All that adding up to the main point of that it is a big problem that people misunderstand how masks are used. Okay, and then I kind of put together a thesis. Uh, that seemed to have disappeared from my outline here. I put together a thesis that said something like um, people not understanding how to wear a mask is a big problem because people not understanding the purpose people not understanding the limitations, whatever that other one was I'm doing off the top of my head right now. And then we plug those quotes into these red boxes here, right? And then from there, you can kind of move forward. I'm gonna publish another video by tomorrow, uh, but the next thing you could do is start making the topic sentences. So this topic sentence here is gonna be about one way that people misunderstand masks is their purpose, right? And that's what these two quotes are gonna be about. You'll introduce each one, you'll comment on each one. Second body paragraph. Transition, another way that people mis, uh, misunderstand masks is how to use them properly. And then you have those two quotes about using them properly. Okay, now you're not gonna follow the same exact set of points. So this is just an example. You have to look at the information that you've found. Now, if you are sitting there, you guys or anybody else who is uh, watching this later and you haven't completed the research writing assignments from second quarter, then I, I don't know what to tell you. You don't have anything to work with, you know? You have to go back and find quotes. I'm not gonna do it for you, okay? So if you continue to not do that, then you're gonna get a zero on these writing assignments and you're, and you're gonna fail the quarter, okay? I'm gonna sound kind of mean right now. I'm gonna be a realist, but uh, that's what's gonna happen very soon, okay? Next week. 
as soon as that assignment hits, you're gonna have an unretrievable F. So go back, find three websites using Sweet Search about social distancing and masking, pull some pull a bunch of quotes and start using them here. It's not it's not that hard. Find three articles, pull some quotes. Okay. Here's what I'd like to do with the time that we have here now, because there's not really anything else going on. I'm holding off on assigning some reading assignments. I want you guys to go in. I want you to work on this right now, okay? I want to keep you here for like 15 minutes. And then I want you to either message me on chat, or message me on chat when you think you've got something I can look at. Like you get your thesis written with that, you know, three-part blueprint. Throw me a thesis on chat. How's that? I'll say, okay, this sort of looks good, but you need to do this, whatever and then start plugging those quotes that you have or that you're getting into the actual outline document on the assignment on Google Classroom. And I can kind of monitor that too, okay? So I'm gonna shut up. I'm even gonna mute myself. I'll let you guys work. And I'm hoping to hear from some of you in chat, okay? Anybody got any questions right now about any part of this? Okay, so this is good. We got this time here I'll make you work on it, okay? Instead of, sitting lost right and not doing anything and pretending it's not there so you guys you guys go i'm meeting myself uh, ask questions or show me things in chat I'm turning my camera off too. Sorry, I was muted before. Uh, you can too if you want. I don't care. It makes you feel less subconscious, but I'm, I'm here. Okay.
Checking in, guys. I don't see a thesis in anybody's document. Hey, Mr. Yet. Hey, Mr. Cooney. Yes, he did. What is a thesis again? That's a statement that's going to preview what's in your paper. You make your point and you give three reasons for it. So again, it's just one sentence. You're making an opinionated statement about social distancing, indoor masks, and then you give three reasons why that's the case based on what stuff I've that read. you've got in your book. Okay. Thank you. Remember, you can hit me up in chat, guys, just a direct message to me. If you do that, if you're feeling self-conscious about it, nobody else is going to see it. I was just uh, giving feedback on one person's. If you recall in the uh, writing your thesis doc, which is attached to the assignment now, I gave that stem where it had the purple, yellow, red, and green sections that you fill in with your own stuff, and that makes your thesis statement. So you don't even have to form it from the top of your head. You just need to fill in the blanks with, you know, based on the stuff that you've read and gotten quotes on. But you've got to choose. I can't choose your overall statement and your three supporting points for you. You have to do that.
Okay, I've got some good chat going with like three of you. This is good. We're going to get somewhere. So the rest of you can jump in here. I'm going to keep the session open for like five more minutes. Okay. Remember, you can't just I mean, you can make up a thesis, but you should be making your thesis based on the stuff that you found in the articles that you read and got quotes on. So if you just make it up, even if it makes sense, you still have to find quotes to support it. Okay, That's why we do the research first. Based on the material that you have, the quotes that you have, you make your thesis with your three supporting points.
that's the end of our time. Guys, I don't want to keep anybody from making it to another session. If you want to ask, any, I, I have plan bell. So if you want to keep working and ask me any more questions, uh, feel free. I feel like I've got a lot of people from just an idea to a thesis in the chat right there. That was great. Um, so if you want to keep working, ask me any more questions, I'm here. Um, and otherwise, you know, you can log off whenever you want. And just but remember, by tomorrow, we wanted to get to the point where we not only had the thesis, but we actually plugged our quotes into those boxes where, where, where it has an indicator in, in the three body paragraphs. So why don't you guys continue uh, working on that, whether you're on here or not. Thank you for coming.